Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Nyx. We just finished Amnesia the Bunker and what should I say about this one? Okay, I, I just finished it and if you watch the playthrough you will notice that I was quite frustrated at the end um, and unfortunately that will actually um, affect how I how I will give this review because I got so annoyed on some very simple mechanics. So first off if you go through the mechanics wasd walk in directions you can aim and look with your mouse that is very basics uh, very basic and then on top of that and um uh, and then you have the um you interact with one button so basically it is very very simple you just use your mouse button wasd and then to move around very very simple the problem is though it the interaction with items is a little bit chunk like clunky like it's not very smooth and there are so many times where you pick up an item and then it kind of flows in front of you which is not uncommon and when you're trying to move around with that item it keeps on either being in the way or because of the hitbox of that item it is difficult to navigate it into the correct place you know um, so I thought that was quite annoying. Sometimes like trying to grab something and then trying to like move it out of the way was actually quite uh, difficult at times because of that hitbox on the items that you found. Um, Story-wise, I thought it was kind of nice. I actually liked the story. It was about you going into a bunker, um, you waking up one day with amnesia, <laughs> of course. Um, and then you're trying to figure out what happened and then you realize there's some kind of darkness hiding around you or in that bunker and then you need to find a way out and and try to get out uh in in different ways um so the story i, I actually did like the story quite a lot it was really nice um i like the concept of the story too like having the darkness in the bunker and you're not trying to like kind of get out um my problem was more with the gameplay like i said mechanics wise it was sometimes difficult to move object uh, or interact with object which was quite annoying um another thing with the um with the gameplay that i found quite frustrating was that um you found two main objectives that you needed to do and so you started doing that and you started uh, going out to solve those two and i got quite far until i realized that i'm missing something and i really don't know what i'm missing at this point and that kind of frustrated me a lot because uh, it was very difficult to to find out where i was supposed to go what i'm supposed to do oh 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 honestly five hours sharp that's kind of cool i really do like this though there are certain things that you're supposed to find but if you go by the objective that you're that you're given then you don't go into these other two areas that you actually do need to do you actually need to go to because the problem is in those two areas you do find two items that are vital to actually be able to continue the game okay so you find it later quite late or i did find it quite late um because i went with the other part of the bomb first and then because of that i found the lighter so so late that at the time where i needed to use it i only had like i only needed to use it like two or three times because i've already done all of the other areas so because it was and and so my one of the argumentation or one of the things that i got really annoyed with is there's two different areas there were no indications that i needed to go to them of course there are items there that that or, or two areas that are undiscovered so it makes sense to go to them however because the main objective only took you to two of the other ones it was so easy to miss that you needed to go and find items that you needed to be able to that you needed to be able to um, proceed in those two other areas. So I did find that quite frustrating um, because I, did, I, got, I got so far in the story. And even though I got so far in the story, I was unable to continue um, 
just because I couldn't find those two vital items and I didn't even know that I needed those two vital items like there's no indications none of the notes that I found discussed it and I do understand the argumentation of having certain games open world and, and being able to be explored and then find things um, at random. I do understand that. However, um, and I do understand people argue against not holding the player's hand uh, throughout the game, which is I also f understand completely. Um, but personally, when I see games, I prefer to or, or when i play games i prefer to either have it completely open world just like legend of zelda um tears of the kingdom and breath of the wild where it's completely completely open and you can basically do everything and solve everything almost you know instantly but they do one important thing is that if you need the or some of the items that you need you will find them quite fast or quite quick in the game so you won't or if you follow the main quest, you will get the things that you need to be able to actually to actually finish the game. Um, so that they did that really well, um, which I felt like I was ma uh, missing in this game. Um, at the same time, either that or I want the game to hold my hand from beginning to to end, where it where it gives me a quest and I follow it, and then of course it can be side quests or achievements. That's fine as well, but. This game, what I think this game is lacking is that it gives you the main objective and then it expects you to just go around and explore the other parts of the story without any indication more than there's an area that you haven't discovered. Um, which, in my opinion, is not very desirable. Um, I do understand that some people really like that and that's fine, um, but for me it's not. Um, so... And I got really frustrated towards the end there because I had no clue what I needed to do. At the very, 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 very last boss fight. Um, and this is also like a personal thing that I have is that I don't like being chased by something. And at that same time, trying to figure out what is the objective. Like I, I did the same with Outlast. In the part where there's a guy chasing you and you need to find a vent to be able to jump out of it um that's that's the same for me like those types of games where you are being stressed out you're having something chase you and kill you and you at the same time need to try to figure out what the fuck am i supposed to do because i i spent so much time trying to capture that guy the end boss on that middle platform because I thought that maybe that's what I was supposed to do. Like if I capture him and um, then, then if I capture him, then he won't, you know, uh, get to me or, or then maybe I trap him down here in the darkness, you know, like th there was absolutely nothing to indicate more than I saw an entrance that or an exit that I needed to go to because it was light. But then other than that, I saw nothing. So <laughs> I do understand that some and this game is one of those games where you need to figure out yourself. Um, and I'm, I'm okay with that, but it just was, it was just a little bit, I would have wanted a hint or a way somewhere where the game kind of holds my hand a little bit more. Um, personal taste. Like I said, this game decided to do it in the way that they wanted you to figure it out yourself. Personal taste. I do not like that. So... From my point of view, I think this game is a really well done game, a well made game, with the exception of um, the hitbox on the objects objects that you can lift up, because that is a little bit wonky and it's a little bit annoying. So if you like games where you have an objective, but you still need to explore on your own and figure out what you need to do on your own, Then I and you do like scary games, then I definitely would recommend this game for you. But if you are a little bit more like me, where you either want to be held hand, or you want the game to be completely open world, then I would kind of advise against this, because it is not, for me, I don't think that this hybrid version works very well. Um, but it, overall, I don't think it's a bad game. I just think that at some point I 
wish I would have had the game help me a little bit more, especially since I'm on normal, since I played on normal. <clears throat> Since I played on normal, it would have been nice to actually have a little bit more um, help from the game to kind of point me in the right direction, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, if you like, if you like uh, games that has an objective but still has open world aspect, um, if you like scary games, then I definitely think this could be a really good game for you. Personally, for me, it's not. Um, I feel like this probably made me more frustrated toward the end than it should have um, just because it was so difficult to understand what the hell I needed to do uh, and that's that's mainly also just at the very very end with the final boss um, and a few other smaller portions of the game which I don't think that any games could have had those kind of issues in those parts but at, the, at least the very, very end with that boss. I think that was very frustrating. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you didn't enjoy it, then well, you're just gonna have to watch me dance awkwardly once again.